So I've previously made a video about making a frame to hang on my Prusa 3D printer such that I can hang this digital deck covers dust cover over the printer so the frame holds the dust cover up basically and if I get my act together when I'm putting this on it's easy to take off just lift it up but sometimes I'm just out of sorts and when I'm trying to get it to go back on the alignment um, features that I built into the frame don't quite align with the frame of the Prusa and therefore it just doesn't go on and I can be messing around with it for several minutes and cussing and fuming and um, I'm thinking really the only solution to this is to put a window on the top of the dust cover. Now the frame itself is acrylic so I can see through the frame I just need to have some sort of a peephole, it doesn't need to be very big, on the top of the dust cover here such that I can, you know, get my face up close to it and look through and visualize where the, uh, the alignment issues are. So um, I was trying to figure out how to do that and I sent an email to Digital Dust Covers asking if they might have a product that some sort of a translucent screen or um, even some clear vinyl or something that could be put on here um, to sew in a window either to make a new dust cover just the same but with the window in it and uh, they said no they messed around with the vinyl but it boogers up the sewing machine and it causes other problems so they weren't interested in doing that um, and I've been looking around trying to find some sort of a fabric that I can put on there that I could see through adequately and um, it just isn't happening. So I've decided that I think the best way for me to approach this is just to actually cut out an opening in the in the canvas here. It's actually more like a um, blue jean material, a, a denim. Just it's, you know, beige colored. And um, <clears throat> do something with it to stabilize the, the fibers in that area. I might just put a little super glue along the edge and um, hit it with accelerant so that it doesn't unravel. And then put some sort of a decorative bezel on it to cover up that ugly part of it. And um, right now I'm going to go and investigate what materials I have in my, in my shop that might make a good bezel. It could be uh, just some thin plywood that might work. This doesn't need to be flexible. Um, and then I can glue that on after I stabilize the fibers. Or um, I might have some plastic that will do it or... Maybe I'll make it out of metal. I haven't figured it out yet. But um, if I totally booger it up, <laughs> then I can still ask Digital Deck Covers to make me a new one of these with a window sewn into it from the get-go. And they will do that. But right now I'm just trying to salvage the one I already have. Well, rummaging through my scrap box, I find this piece of eighth inch thick craft plywood that's in pretty good condition and I figured I needed probably about a 4 by 6 window. This is certainly big enough to accommodate that. Actually it's big enough to accommodate it if I put it this way and thereby save some more of the scrap for later. So I think I'm gonna make my bezel out of this wood and I'll just glue that somehow to the top of the canvas cover after I've cut out the canvas and stabilized the fibers. Okay, there's the bezel. It's kind of flexible and that's good. It has a fair amount of spring to it. Um, it also has a bit of a warp to it. 
I don't want to put too much pressure on it because I'll probably break it. Um, anyway, so that should be a decent sized window through which I can spot any misalignments. So I've got the varnished bezel sitting there on its support sticks. A couple of heater fans going. It's about five degrees Fahrenheit outside so the basement's always a little chilly in the winter and um, by morning this should be ready and I can probably dive in and do the rest of the surgery on the dust cover. Alright, next morning and the bezel varnish is dried. I gave it a light sanding just to make it smoother. It doesn't really merit a second coat. The back side does not have any varnish on it. That's the side that I'm going to be gluing. So I decided to leave it uh, unfinished. So I figured out where I want to have the window. And um, let's see, the main frame is about here. So I should have a pretty good view of what I'm looking for and it's not too close to the front. Um, so I've marked with some bits of scotch tape where the outside of the bezel should go. And my idea is to just glue it in place and that'll seal the fibers of the cloth, of the fabric, and also bond the bezel to the fabric. And then I'll flip it upside down off of the uh, support frame and cut through the fabric just inside the, or just outside the inner part of the bezel so that it won't show. So I think that'll work, um, but I need to protect the acrylic under here in case the adhesive will mar the um, underlying acrylic or even seep through and adhere to it. So my thought is probably something like saran wrap, which I'll have to put around the acrylic. Just to be uh, sure, I put some aluminum foil over the acrylic and then uh, a wrap of saran wrap around it. The saran wrap is primarily as an anti-stick because presumably the adhesive won't stick all that well to it. And then the aluminum foil is the actual chemical barrier because uh, I'm not sure that the chemistry of the glue won't attack the saran wrap in some way. It probably won't, but... So I've got a double barrier there. So I've marked the outer periphery of the bezel with tape and since it'll be cut out I marked the inner bezel uh, periphery using just a ballpoint pen. So the instructions on the Gorilla fabric glue that I selected, I actually looked up a bunch of websites dealing with crafts primarily, but also furniture repair and so on. And apparently this is quite a good product for attaching fabric to wood or fabric to fabric and is often used um, in places where people need to improvise costumes or theatrical sets very quickly that involve wooden uh, fabrics or two fabrics. Let's see, it's supposed to be flexible after drying. It's supposed to dry very quickly. Uh, it's supposed to be very good grip. Blah, 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 blah. Dries crystal clear. Good for cotton, denim, polyester, felt, beads, sequins, ribbon, and more. They don't mention wood here, but wood is on the more detailed list of applications. And they do say to put adhesive on each material to be bonded, not just one. So I'm going to put a bead around here and then a bead on the back side. Always trying to stay clear of the inner periphery so the glue doesn't ooze into there and become hard to cut. Okay, I've held it till it tacked up a bit and the instructions say to let it sit for 24 hours. So I'm going to use my dusty cover 
our dusty covered copy of The Tragedy of the Moon by Asimov to weight it down and give it 24 hours. All right, the glue has, I think, pretty much dried, even though it's only been maybe 12 hours. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the fabric out. Okay, I just cut away at it using a steel ruler as a straight edge and an X-Acto knife. The canvas was remarkably hard to cut through and there was a little bit of residual glue where I was cutting so it took a bit of hacking but I got a fairly clean um, cutout always a little bit outside of the edge and I have to trim that corner a little bit more it looks like alright there's the finished product I think it came out looking pretty good nice clean bezel and uh, it's not that apparent from oh yeah you can see it here I can blot out some of the glare. You can see that I can visualize where the dust cover frame docks with the Prusa frame. It's a little harder to see on the left, but I can, just through the corner of the window, see the other side of it. Success! Minimal effort expended. Zero cost.